welcome to this another session of uh, harbor engineering so the first topic which we are going to study is tidal basins so basically if i talk about basin it is sort of an area or space where the ship will be accommodated so first of all these are the various views of a basin that is an area or space for accommodating ship the main point here is that in tidal basins there is no any arrangement of lock gates which are present in wet dock so first of all uh, we are understanding tidal basin then we will understand wet dock and then we will see the difference between tidal basin and wet dock so the similarity between tidal basin and wet dock is that both have the same purpose that is where the loading and loading of cargo or commodity will take place and the main difference between tidal basin and wet dock is that in tidal basin there is no any arrangement of lock gates which are present in wet dock for retaining water so basically these are the various three shape uh, views for how a basin can be so first of all is the rectangular basin in which we can see that the basins are in form of rectangle so the name has been given as rectangle basin and adjacent to the basin the loading and loading platforms have been shown so these are the way that is the various loading and unloading platform for cargo or commodity in this figure uh, the shore line will be in this place that is here will be the shore line and perpendicularly here are the loading and unloading platform so as we can see that uh, in the basin this is the space or area which is the basin for accommodating or berthing the ship here we can see that no any lock or gate arrangement is present so there is no existence of any lock gates next is the diamond shape basin so this is basically sort of uh, a bit representing the diamond shape and this is the basin space or area for accommodating or berthing of ship for carrying out the loading and loading operation and last is the inclined way basin where we can see that here this is the shore line so uh, the platforms are inclined in which the quay has been written that are the terminal facilities for loading and loading of cargo and the basin or space this is the area for accommodating ship berthing of ship so here it is an inclined space now let us discuss a few points regarding the tidal basin tidal basin are partially enclosed area why they are partially enclosed because as we have seen uh at one side uh, there is no any arrangement of lock or gate so that side is open so uh, it is partially enclosed as it is open from one side so the word has been used as partially enclosed area of water which are approached by open entrances and are subjected to fluctuation of water level so they are approached by open entrances why because again as there is no arrangement of any gates so the entrances are open and subjected to fluctuation of water level so as there is no any gate separating the water level uh, outside the dock and inside the dock so it will be subjected to the fluctuation in water level meaning that if there is fluctuation in water level outside the dock it will also affect the basin portion where the water is existing so due to absence of lock gates the fluctuation in water level outside the basin will have its effect inside the basin uh, at the time of carrying out operation as well and another thing is why it is an open entrance same reason that is due to absence of any lock arrangement these basins allow vessel to come in and berth or leave at all the times again same as there is no any gate arrangement so uh, the ship can enter or leave at any time there is no any arrangement of opening or closing the gates do not require expensive arrangement like lock gate the point which we have already discussed next are the advantages and disadvantages of tidal basins so first of all let us discuss about the advantages vessel can come in and berth or leave at all the times so this point we discussed in the previous slide that is due to absence of any lock gates 
which will be bifurcating the water level outside the basin and inside the basin uh, due to its absence the vessel can come in or leave at any time speedy and unrestricted arrival and departure of ship that is again the same reason because no time is lost uh, for the gate operation that is for the opening of gate closing of gate so due to a saving in that time the arrival and departure operation of the ship will be speedy costly arrangement like lock gates for closing of entrances are not needed so this is the most important point uh, which we have uh, been continuously discussing in this uh, tidal basin it is specific meaning regarding the tidal basin is this point that there is no any arrangement of lock gates so that cost will be saved so that is an advantage disadvantage of tidal basin if range of tide is more the operation of loading and unloading are seriously affected the meaning of uh, this point is that uh, due to absence of uh, the lock gates whatever fluctuation is uh, occurring in the tidal level that fluctuation will have its effect in the basin so the basin will not be independent of the fluctuation of water level and that effect will be uh, pronounced in the basin and if the loading and loading operation is uh, being carried out uh, in the basin then uh, that operation will be affected due to the uh, variation in water level so that is an important point as well fluctuation in water level will cause the rubbing of sides of ship against the bars so the meaning of this point is that again uh, due to the fluctuation in water level the ship which have been berthed will uh, sort of be uh, rubbed against the sides and uh, sort of it can deteriorate the quality of uh, ships because due to the constant rubbing with the platform uh, the sides of uh, ship uh, will get uh, its quality deteriorated next are the harbor docks or the wet docks so docks are sheltered basin of berthing ship if i talk about wet dock or if i talk about uh, dry dock both are sheltered basin for berthing ship that is they are fully enclosed and the one side which was uh, sort of empty in the basin case in that uh, specific direction the arrangement of lock gate will exist so it will be fully enclosed due to that arrangement while tidal basin was partially enclosed water in docks are kept at nearly constant level to enable the cargo from ship to be loaded or unloaded so the water inside the dock is first of all independent of water level outside the dock due to the arrangement of lock gates and due to that reason uh, whatever be the rise or fall in the water level outside the dock we can maintain a constant level inside the dock and if there is any need of extra water then it can be supplied inside the dock that is from certain other resource so a constant level water can be maintained uh, the reason i am explaining again that as the lock gate arrangement is there so due to that the water level that is outside the dock will not have its effect and whatever be the rise or fall uh, we can keep the water level inside the dock as per our need at a constant level and if uh, more water is needed then artificial supply uh, from uh, certain other source can be done inside the dock the harbor docks also known as wet docks are enclosed or partially enclosed basin generally they are fully enclosed that is on three sides it is uh, enclosed by construction of wall of uh, timber or cc construction and on one side is the lock gate so it is a uh, fully enclosed area provided with gate arrangement to keep water at fairly constant level as we have discussed in the previous point so next this is a image for wet dock this is the lock gate arrangement so the point which we have been discussing uh, right from the beginning that is the main point that is arrangement of lock gates so in wet dock the specific lock gate arrangement is provided and whatever is the fluctu fluctuation in water level outside the dock will not have its effect inside the dock so it is independent of water level fluctuation outside the dock due to this specific lock gate arrangement which is present in wet dock and it is absent in tidal basin so this is the view this is the outside of the dock portion inside dock portion 
and the fluctuation existing outside will not have any effect inside here in bed dock and in tidal basin due to absence of these gates the fluctuation will have its effect inside the basin. Now let us discuss a few features or few points regarding wet docks. So first of all when there are variation in tidal level an enclosed basin is provided wherein number of ships can be berthed. So the first point is that wet docks are provided in the situation where there is variation in tidal level. Because if there is very low variation in tidal level then we will go or we will select tidal basin because as there is a very low fluctuation in water level there is no such any need of providing such expensive log gate arrangement. So this is the first point. Next is the basin has an entrance which is controlled by log gate as we have already seen which is the most important point. The water inside the basin can be maintained independent of outside water level fluctuations. This point also we have discussed and also we have seen the specific uh, reason for this point and we have also seen the image as to how the fluctuation will be affecting and how that water level is retained in wet dock. Next point is in which various situations is wet dock useful. So let us discuss point by point where there exists a considerable variation in tidal level. So basically the purpose of providing wet dock is that where there are high variation in water level to make sure that the fluctuation or the high variation effect is nullified we are providing the wet dock. So this is the most important point that is where there is considerable variation in tidal level so that uh, the effect is nullified by the provision of log gate and inside the dock the loading and loading operation can be carried out with ease. Next, when under low tide condition, the approach to the harbour is not navigable for deep draft vessels. Now, uh, deep draft vessels means uh, those ships which while making movement require a considerable amount of draft that is a considerable amount of water depth. So, uh, if there is a low tide situation, then uh, in the situation of absence of log gate arrangement, it will have an effect inside the dock. But uh, in bad dock, due to presence of log gates, even if there is low tide outside the bad dock portion, we can maintain a certain level of draft inside the dock by artificial or supply of water through another source. So repeating this point again, that even if there is low tide situation outside the dock, inside the dock by uh, supply of water from another source, we can maintain a uh, high water depth or which will be needed for deep draft vessels so that uh, high water depth can be maintained. Useful in harbour or river where considerable seating takes place. So by provision of log gate arrangement we will be uh, sort of mitigating the effect of seating so that in the situation uh, harbour or river where there is excessive seating taking place that is excessive deposits of sediments are uh, being deposited in the region then by provision of log gates we can sort of mitigate the effect of silting. So ultimately this will also reduce the amount of dredging needed. So dredging is the removal of excessive sediments so if uh, silting is not allowed then there will be no much deposition of sediments and so even the dredging operation will not be needed frequently. Dock area is kept free of silting by keeping out turbid water by supplying water to the dock basin from other sources. Now if uh, the water uh, in the harbour is sort of turbid water that is containing higher amount of uh, soil particles then uh, to keep the dock area turbid free we can uh, use uh, we can water from another source and by provision of the gate arrangement, we can make sure that the non turbid water and turbid water are differentiated from each other. So basically here uh, the point is regarding the turbidity of water that is if uh, the water in that specific location is turbid it is containing a uh, high amount of sediments and uh, we can if we want to get rid of that water uh, 
we can supply non turbid water from another source inside the top and the outside water that is turbid water won't be allowed to enter in the dock and last point is regarding the effect of storms in outer sea and harbor do not obstruct the operation so in the situation where there is a sort of possibility of storm where there is high intensity movement of wind to keep the operations which are being carried out in harbor safe from the effect of storms uh, that lock gate arrangement is provided and so that the effect of storm is mitigated to a certain extent so in that situation where storms are uh, highly pronounced there this can be useful as well